Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be playing Forest Ranger Services. I am a wannabe reporter who gets a job as a forest ranger to investigate the mysterious disappearances of people. So yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, let's play. New game. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been if you are a wannabe aspiring reporter, plugging in a ma Well, I hope you all read that somehow, because I didn't even get to read it all. I was trying to take my time, read it slowly. Um, they should make that a little longer or, you know, let me read it and then skip it when I want to skip it. I didn't get to read a damn thing. So hopefully you all got to read it. Anyway, there's been a bunch of disappearances in the forest and we gotta go looking for them on this hiking trail, I guess. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I love how eerie it looks. All right, a tree branch just fell on us. That was quite rude, actually. I should sue that tree. Okay. Something is out here burping away. And now there's a pig. Makes sense. Makes sense. There's something burping. Some pigs out here. Someone running. There's a... Why is this one especially green? And everything else is just not green. Oh my god, I can go off the trail? Oh, I can't go that far off the trail. Okay. I was, I was excited. I could go... Uh, Wandering around off the hiking trail. Brett is Bigfoot out here. What is happening? Oh my god, am I gonna meet an alien? Is this what's gonna happen? Who the hell are you, bruh? Hey there, Nightcrawlers. You're locked in with Station 5, where I can try. the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Hello, Mike. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this isn't something you hear about anymore. But check out these stats. According to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. That's a lot. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports of missing people. The numbers are massive. I've got a few examples here. One hiker found after days in the woods, couldn't recall basic details about their hike how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of uh, acute paranoia are claiming they were being watched by unseen uh, entities among the trees. There's a quick and go. I didn't want to go in here just yet in case, like, Hello? I just ran into a, a sign? All right, I, apparently we need gas, I don't know. Ooh, I love this visual right here. Can I sprint? I can't sprint. Someone over here? Oh my god, I'm actually... 
Bro, I can actually move here. I can walk in the forward, but I can't see anything. So I'm gonna go back. All right, but from the looks of it, someone was literally that way. Staring at us with their damn binoculars. All right, quick and go, let's go. Need to open? Ooh, they got some nice restaurant style things here. Can I get through the door? Nope, okay. Guess not. Talk. What can I get you? Just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. <laughs> that that that. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. That that that. I'm sure it can, buddy. Oh, that looks good, actually. Hello, sir. Can I buy something? I'm kind of hungry, man. Bruh. Alright, ugly. Dang. Alright, let's leave. Uh, go to our car. Get back on the road. Well, I can kind of jump. Not very much, though. Do I need gas? Oh. That was to get in the car. Oops. Search and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're talking about disorientation, uh, memory loss, and in some cases, ah, bizarre behavior uh, that Needs rescuers and medical professionals massive. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, uh, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks and they find absolutely nothing. Now that's a staggering figure, and it's got us wondering what exactly is happening out there in the wilderness. What if I told you there's a secret experiment going on right under our noses? Um, the government, the shadowy figures in black suits, they're... T okay, I was waiting for it to stop, but what? Why are we back here? We went in a circle. I hit another pole. I'm a good driver, I swear. What? The dude's still staring at me, okay. Creeper. Freaking creeper. What are these gas prices, man? I wanna live here. Hell yeah. All right, go back to the quick and go. Okay, that's nothing, that's just garbage. What the hell? Well, at least you uh, left me this, but I can't use it, so. Well, that sucks, okay. Oh, I like the little music going on. Wait, what happened to lights though? Let's talk. New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks, you'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me with some directions? Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Uh... Been here a while, seen the faces change. Rangers like you. Their stories rearrange. Something in these woods. Something strange. Dot, dot, dot. Good luck, Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Dot, dot, dot. Why is he talking in 
Rhymes. My man should be a, a rapper of some sort. Were you just rapping rhymes? Okay, can't go anything here. Oh, what's this? Inspect a suitcase with documents about missing people. Interesting. I can finally talk to this dude. All right. Looks like something you're looking for is missing. I mean, considering I'm looking for missing people, yes. I am. And why is this a curtain? All right. These people are weird, dude. Time to leave. These people are weird. All right, let's just go back on the road. See what happens. You know, the voices in my head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering your name. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> There's this hiker. You fricker, what the hell? It was a sea. <laughs> the hiker with Masonic Dragon had resorted Who was to that? Revengeance. The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own fingers, chewed and gnawed in a desperate bid for sustenance. Wow. This sucker. Wow. He, he ate his own finger. Wow. He must have been out of his mind. It's your turn. You will never get out of these woods. Okay, that must have been the rude person who ended up right in front of my damn car. So, excuse you. Oh good, it changed again. I keep running into this damn pole. Holy, bro, I have, two, I have so many damages on my car at this point. I need an entire, entirely new one. <laughs> Can I get a gumball though? Damn. Nope. Close. Open. Alright, well these are back. The guy's gone. But the cashier is here. All right, let's talk. In shadows deep, where trees entwine, a mystery unfolds, a tale malign, through tangled woods, where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more. Man, what the hell are you talking about? Answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Man, do you mind not talking the way you're talking? Speak normally, buddy. Slap you upside the damn face. Okay, when did this get here? Do we do we do it? Sure, why not? Hello? Who is this? What wake up, okay. That was all a dream, apparently. Mini Mart. Fresh fruit and vegetables. Anyone there? Okay, so this is my... My stuff I should probably unpack. Probably. Hello? Inspect. Okay, so this is our map of the woods. Ooh. My cooler. Okay. Inspect rustic coal stove. Oh my god, look how beautiful it is out there. I love this art style. Oh my god. Oh, there's a river down there. Anyone there? This is so beautiful. Ooh, a gun. Nice. All right, I guess we inspect it. I read you. So, how was your first night? It was pretty interesting. 
I had a nightmare. My dad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. So that was made up, right? Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Dot, dot, dot. Forest Stranger Service is the pilot. Ooh, okay. I was walking my dog Buddy in the forest one evening and I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about half an hour or so. Suddenly I had the urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground, just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man in the red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freaked out a little bit and quickly started my, making my way back home. Okay. I stopped looking around for Buddy. As I turned back to continue home right in front of me, there's a severed deer leg neatly placed in front of the forest path. I have not been down that path since. Okay. We also saw the guy in the red sweater. Makes sense. So it is a real story and we saw the man in the red sweater. All right, well, I like this pilot. It was really fun. So far, I really like the story. I can't wait for the actual game to come out and to uh, explore the forest. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoy this video. And with that, like it, dislike it, but I'll subscribe.